What's going on everybody? This is Oasis back with the next video of JavaScript Essential Training Series. So far we have looked at the basics of JavaScript such as loops, functions, arrays, condition statements and what's next? The next thing you need to learn is one of the JavaScript library. In this video I'm going to introduce to you guys about JavaScript libraries, what are those JavaScript libraries, why should we use them and where we can find them. Now, first, let's talk about why we need JavaScript libraries, obviously. JavaScript is a small language. We really have covered most of it already in this tutorial series. But unlike other technologies like Java, .NET or C++, it doesn't have dozens of built-in libraries with thousands of objects for us to use. So we are now at the point where we need to start thinking about writing a bunch of code. But you know the things you want to do with JavaScript? are probably not all that different from what other people have wanted to do with JavaScript over the years. And the great thing about JavaScript is this, that some of those people already wrote a bunch of code for you to use. JavaScript library simply means a bunch of JavaScript somebody else wrote for you to use. And we are going to look at a few of the libraries in this video. So let me introduce you a few of the libraries that I use and I think they are great. So the most general purpose libraries are Google Closure Library. Basically, uh, Closure Library is a broad, well-tested, modular and cross-browser JavaScript libraries. We're not going to cover what these libraries do in this video, but I'm just going to introduce to you guys these are the libraries that you can study. And I'll probably do the separate videos about each of these libraries. Now we have the Yahoo YUI library, which is used to develop JavaScript, CSS, uh, web applications as well. And I'll probably do a tutorial on this, how to use this library and what can you build with these libraries. But the most common library and which is essential for you to get a job as a JavaScript developer or a front, front end web developer is this jQuery. Let me go to the home page. I actually downloaded that before, so I'm just gonna close this. Now, they have wrote lots of function that helps with navigation through DOM and they include code for cross-browser uh, cross detection. So it's easier to work with events without worrying about which versions of Internet Explorer you have or which versions of Chrome you have or which version of Mozilla Firefox you have. Now, to use any of this library, you simply download the JS file. We'll go back to Visual Studio Code and here in the HTML document, I have linked that JS file here, the script.js. So to use the library, you will do the same thing. You will copy and paste that file into a script folder or you will just create a new folder with jQuery and uh, put that file in that folder and just link that the same way we linked this uh, script.js file. Go and use one of these. So I'm just going to go to Explorer and we downloaded that jQuery file. I'm going to copy this and we go back to Visual Studio Code and I'm going to paste it here. And I think I don't have the paste option for some reason, but I'm going to just copy this one more time and let's try this time. If I can find, no, nope, I can't paste. No, I can't paste that. So I will. I have. A, uh, I have to manually copy this and put this into the folder. So I'm just gonna go to where is it? Front end training project one. This is a script folder. I'm going to paste it here, and then we just go back to Visual Studio Code, and then there you go. We have this file there. Now to link that file, we just simply script type well technically you don't have to type uh, you don't have to basically write this type but uh, I'll just do it Java script and then SRC and then scripts slash and this is the file we want to use dot JS and close this script tag Okay, so that's pretty much you have to do. Now I can use all the functions available in jQuery. So the best part is you need to study the documentation. Obviously, I will do the separate course for jQuery. It's a huge library. Let's go check out this jQuery file first. 
and if you can see here I have this uh, file and it's it's like let me go all the way down so it has about 1221 lines I mean technically you are not getting what you couldn't have write yourself but it might have taken you months to write all this stuff now on the other hand some JavaScript libraries are specialized rather than to just uh, to be just a general purpose like Lightbox or simply JavaScript library for popping up the image on your web pages. We'll go and search for that. I'll show you that this light box. And we should see, I'll just say Lightbox JavaScript. And we search for that and that's the library yep and it is uh, used to pop up the image such as if I click on this image you probably have seen this kind of functionality in your website and most of the time they're using this light box but it doesn't really matter because there's thousands of uh, libraries do the same thing and you could even write this code by yourself using JavaScript but it's a good idea to use the code what already been written for you instead of just spending the months and months of time to write your own library or your own code which might not be good as these uh, general purpose libraries because they are so popular most of these libraries are open source and they are free and there is no licensing so you simply grab the code and use it and do whatever you want to do with it so I encourage, I encourage you to explore what available and new ones are coming all the time. Search on Google for JavaScript libraries. One more thing I want to explain to you guys is now if you go back a few years and there was a lot of competition between the different libraries. But a clear winner we have is jQuery. Uh, jQuery is a general purpose library and we are going to talk about this in one of the other videos shortly I'll create that video now occasionally uh, some people ask that if you should avoid these libraries and whether real JavaScript programs oh I'm a real JavaScript program I don't need someone else code I can write my own code well you can but if you ask me then the answer is absolutely not Knowing JavaScript libraries, particularly jQuery, is the core skill of JavaScript developer these days. And if you go to Seek or anywhere in the world uh, on of the website where you apply jobs, uh, most of the time you will find jQuery is written as a job description. So you need to know one of these libraries to actually be able to apply for a job or actually to be considered to, to be hired. So the, this is not just a library written by someone, but these are the core functionality and core uh, things to get a job in front-end development in JavaScript. And not just the front-end development, there's so many applications and even some of the desktop applications are made in JavaScript, such as brackets made by Adobe. And I had that here in my Mac, but um, I'm not gonna show you, you probably know about this. That's completely written in JavaScript. It's a text editor for developing website and written in JavaScript. So these libraries are pretty great. You can just grab them and use them and make your life easier. I will do a separate course on jQuery particularly because that's the most popular one. And um, this is great. It makes your life a lot easier. So that's it. That was the introduction of uh, libraries in JavaScript and I hope you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you did and if you find this information useful, share it with your friends and please subscribe to our Facebook, not actually subscribe, but join our Facebook programmers group. I'll drop a link in the description. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.